Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create a new publication, first click the File tab in the ribbon, and then select the New Command from the Command Panel at the left side of the Backstage view. This will display the Available Templates panel at the right side of the view. Here you can choose to start a new publication from one of the many templates available, or you can choose to simply create a new blank publication. If you want to create a new blank publication that is a standard page size, you can select the blank 8.5 by 11 icon from the Available Templates section, located right here. Also in the Available Templates section, you can select a template category that is shown on screen in order to have specific examples of the content for the selected category appear in the window. For example, business cards. For whichever category is selected, you'll see several common items that you can create. To return to the original display, you can click the back button that appears at the top of the templates panel. It's located right here or you can simply click the Home button in that same area to return to the Available Templates page. For template categories that are listed in the Office.com Templates section, you may need to download the template from Office.com. To do this, first ensure that your computer is connected to the Internet. Then click on the template that you wish to download from the examples shown in the selected template category. You can then click the download button that appears at the right side of the backstage view to download the template to your computer. The template will then open as a new publication within Publisher that you can immediately begin to edit. Publisher also contains a listing of installed templates. Let's look at that. And you can use these to create new publications, of course. For templates that are listed in the Installed Templates categories, simply click on the template that you want to use as the basis for your new publication file. For example, we'll say Calendars and give that a click. At the far right panel in the backstage view, you'll see the name and a default image of the selected template appear. Our left and then our image right here. In this panel, you can set some basic parameters for the chosen template in the Customize section located right here. You can select a different color scheme to use for the publication from the Color Scheme drop-down if desired. You can also select a different font scheme to use for the publication from the Font Scheme drop-down if you want, right here. If you've already entered business information into the Publisher program, you can select which set of business information to use from the Business Information drop-down. Now note that we'll examine how to input this information into Publisher in the next lesson within this chapter. Depending upon the type of template that you've selected, you may also have additional choices shown in the Options section, such as choosing a page size or including a customer address area. You simply make any additional choices that you'd like in this section as well. So we can scroll down and see our available choices here. Once you've finished selecting your basic customization options for your template, just click the Create button at the bottom of the right panel to create a new publication based on the selected template with the parameters that you specified. And that's how you create a new publication using those templates. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.